Hey, good optometry morning. So you are wondering if you have cataracts. You're starting to have symptoms of some type or another and you're thinking, I wonder if this is cataracts or not. Well, that's what we're talking about today. And I'm going to tell you the seven most common symptoms of cataracts. And we are starting right now. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor. And today, as promised, we're going to go over the seven most common symptoms that people get when they get cataracts. But stick around to the end because I'm also going to tell you four of the symptoms that people think are caused by cataracts, but actually are not. So that's a lot of information. But before we get to it, let's first of all take about 30 seconds, talk about what is a cataract. All right, so cataracts are a normal age-related change to the natural crystalline lens that's located inside the lens. And so because they're a normal aging change, that means if you live long enough, you're going to get cataracts. And most people develop cataracts around the late 60s, early 70s. And so a cataract is not a film that grows over the surface of the eye, which a lot of people think, but it's actually a change to the natural crystalline lens where that lens starts to get a little bit opacified or cloudy, and it just doesn't let light through quite as well. Now, there are a lot of different types of cataracts and forms of cataracts that can happen at different ages and all throughout our lives and for different reasons. But the main type of cataract, and mostly one I'm going to be referring to today, is just your age-related cataract. All right, symptom number one is probably most obvious, blurred vision. And this is probably the most common symptom that people get with cataracts. And, and it makes sense because if that lens starts to get a little bit cloudy or opacified in some form of a way or another, then basically you're not going to get a clear, sharp image uh, of what you're trying to look at. Now, interesting thing is that most of the time people don't associate cataracts and blurred vision or associate their blurred vision with cataracts. And so oftentimes people come in for an eye exam with me and they'll think that they actually need their glasses updated or glasses changed. Uh, and then uh, they're a little bit surprised when I say, actually, it's not glasses that need updated, but you're starting to develop some early cataracts. So if you're in your late 60s, early 70s, and you're thinking, oh, maybe uh, my glasses need updated, I could should go see my optometrist. But don't be alarmed if they say that it's actually due to cataracts. All right, symptom number two is basically harder to see things at night or in dim light. So as a natural crystalline lens starts to get a little bit cloudy, it's not going to let as much light through it. And so as a result, you're not getting as much light to your retina. And so what that's going to do is it's going to cause symptoms that you feel like you need more light. So you're going to feel like I need to turn up the room lights in, in your house. And you're going to go, why are the lights so dim in here? Why is it so hard to see? Or you might find, hey, I got to use a flashlight on my phone a little bit more often. You might be turning up the brightness on your laptop or your phone to see the images a little bit more more easily. And you might also notice that at night, you have a little bit hard time and it seems like, hey, I'm dark adapted. It's been like five, 10 minutes, but I'm still having a little bit more trouble in, in dark, dim lights. And that can all be related to cataracts. All right, symptom number three, and this could be a change in your glasses prescription. So cataracts, like I mentioned, are a change to the natural crystalline lens that's located, located behind the iris. And basically, this natural lens, it continues growing all throughout life. And sometimes I use the analogy, it's kind of like an onion where there's additional layers that added to this um, lens all throughout your life and the old layers get compacted into the center. And as that happens, this lens gets more dense and that increase in density will eventually uh, cause it some type of opacity or cloudiness, but that increased density will also cause that lens to bend light differently. And so it can cause a change in your glasses prescription. So sometimes when you come in, we will check your eyes and we'll find, hey, there's a glasses prescription that's changing. We can get you seeing clear again. But sometimes that change is actually the result of some early developing of cataracts. And you can still see clearly with the updated prescription, but it's actually the changes to the crystalline lens that are occurring that is causing that change in the prescription. And that's an early precursor of a cataract. All right, symptom number four is a change in your perception of colors. So as this natural lens starts to get more and more dense, and like I said, it starts to let less light through this lens, the interesting thing is it kind of turns kind of yellowish or even a brownish color in more of the advanced forms of cataracts. Now, it's almost like you're wearing a pair of brown sunglasses. And so as you develop cataracts, the natural crystalline lens is going to let less light through it, but it will block 
light that's on the blue end of the spectrum more than light that's on the red end of the spectrum. And so what that will do is it'll change the perception of the colors that you're looking at. So let me give you two real world examples of how cataracts can change your color perception. So take a look at this painting. This is a famous painting done by Monet and it's of the Japanese footbridge. Now Monet painted this painting in 1899 when he was about 59 years old. Now the interesting thing is Monet painted this same bridge about 11 more times throughout his life and all of them had slightly different appearance. So now some of the scholars attribute the difference in the appearance to Monet's developing his impressionistic style, but there's another theory out there and it relates to his vision. Now take a look at this painting that Monet did in 1918 when he was 78 years old. Look at the loss of detail and look at the emphasis of blue. So some people feel that Monet had advanced cataracts at this stage that were blocking a lot of the blue end of the spectrum that was coming through his natural lens. And so as a result, he had to add a lot more blue pigment to his paintings for them to look realistic to him. All right, so another real world example is growing up in my church, there was an older lady and she kind of had blue hair. And so everyone noticed that she had blue hair. No one said anything, but everyone noticed it. And the reason why she had blue hair was because she was starting to develop cataracts. And she would dye her own hair and she was trying to make it this really bleach white color. But to her, when her hair was white, it looked a little bit yellow because the cataracts was blocking some of the blue end of the spectrum coming through. And so she had to add more blue pigment to her hair dye to make it look white to her, but to everyone else, that looked blue. So the other interesting thing about this color perception change is that it happens very, very gradually. So most people that have cataracts won't really know that they have this color perception difference because it's happened so gradually. But one comment that I always get after cataract surgery, one of the first things patients say, oh yeah, it's pretty clear, but you won't believe the vividness of colors. Colors so, look so much more vivid. And so that's a change that patients will immediately notice right after cataract surgery. All right, symptom number five due to cataracts is that you can find you're more sensitive to glare. So basically, if the, as a natural crystalline lens starts to get a little bit more cloudy, it's gonna start to scatter light a little bit more. And that light scatter can cause all sorts of unwanted symptoms for yourself. And so one of the things it can do, it scatters lights to all parts of the retina. And so it can make you feel like, wow, there's more, a lot more light out there than there actually is. But another thing that can happen is that light scatter can cause a little bit of what we call photophobia, which basically is the reason why you squint is they are sensitive. And it's almost like a little bit of discomfort because of the additional glare that you're experiencing. So light scatter can cause what we call veiling glare, which is basically this overwhelming glare that you will experience. It makes images harder to see. It's almost like if you're driving and your windshield's kind of fogged up or cloudy and light, you're driving into the, into the sun, it scatters that light around and it's like, whoa, that's really hard to see through all that glare. But if there's just a little bit of light scatters, then sometimes it can cause this halo around lights that you might notice when you're driving at night. This light scatter is also related to one of the previous symptoms of color perception changes because basically that natural crystalline lens that starts to develop cataracts, it will not only absorb some of the blue end of the spec light spectrum, but it will actually scatter some of the light on the blue end of the spectrum. So some people will notice that blue headlights, these halogen headlights that are, that are kind of bluish in color, they will cause a lot more light scatter than kind of the yellow headlights that used to be around. All right, symptom number six of cataracts could be kind of a doubling of the image, particularly when you're looking just out of one eye. So when I say doubling of the image, what I don't mean is I don't mean that the image is completely separate, but I mean there's kind of this overlap or kind of a what I refer to as a ghosting of image, it almost looks like this double ed edge around the image. And that can be caused by some of the light scatter due to some of the opacities in the lens, and it can cause a little bit of that ghosting image that you might notice. Now, sometimes a change in your glasses prescription can eliminate some of that doubling or ghosting of that image, but sometimes it's just a part, one part of a cataract. 
All right, and so the seventh most common symptom that people might get due to cataracts is a loss of contrast. All right, so when I talk about contrast, I'm talking about the ability to see subtle differences in the shades of an image. So the ability to see contrast is a very important visual cue when we're walking, particularly when you're walking on things that don't have a lot of contrast. A good example is when you're walking up concrete steps. In order to see the edge of the step, you need to be, see some of the subtle color differences in that same color. Another good example up here in the north is when you're walking on snowy ground. Sometimes on the snow, the way you judge depth is looking at the changes in the contrast of that image. Contrast is also really important when you're trying to discriminate the appearance of someone's face. And so that's a key visual component that we use in telling one person from another person. So the interesting thing about contrast is it's not related to what we call visual acuity. Now visual acuity is what we refer to as how small of image you can see, like the detail, can you see the 2020 line? And usually when you're looking at that type of image, it's a very high contrast image, meaning that it's a very dark black on a very white background. And so there's very sharp, uh, borders on that. But there's an, if we're looking at contrast, sometimes we're looking at a really light gray on a really light gray background, and that can be a, sometimes a very hard task. So there are some people out there that have excellent visual acuity. They can actually see the 2020 line, but cataracts are causing a significant reduction in the contrast, which can really impair some of their functioning. And so that's an important symptom to be aware of when you're developing cataracts. All right, so as promised, let's give you the four symptoms that people think are related to cataracts, but actually are not. But before we go there, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so you can get more videos like this. Okay, so one symptom that people think is caused by cataracts, but actually is not, is seeing spots in your vision. So sometimes people say, hey, I see some spot or some uh, thing floating in my vision, and they say, hey, I think that's my cataracts that are developing. Now, these spots or floaters that we see in our vision, they're often related to changes in the vitreous, which is the gel inside the eye, and I've got a whole another video about seeing spots and, and floaters in your vision. But that is usually related to something on the retina or in the vitreous, but it is not something related to cataracts. So opacities in your lens won't cause a spot in your vision, but it'll cause general blurriness or some of the other symptoms that I've talked about already. Another symptom that sometimes people think is related to cataract is pain or discomfort. And so the natural crystalline lens has no pain fibers in it at all. So you will experience no pain or discomfort at all due to a cataract. Now the one exception to this might be related to sensitivity to light and light scatter. So as I mentioned before, when sometimes when light scatter comes in from a really bright light, it can cause a little bit of what we call photophobia, which can make you wince because of the amount of brightness and the, and the light scatter that's happening. But that's kind of an associated discomfort due to the cataract and not actually caused by developing cataracts. All right, so the next thing that people think is related to cataracts but actually is not is actually seeing a film that's developing on the surface of their eye. Now this is more of a sign than a symptom, but a film developing or growth or tissue growing on the surface of your eye is not a cataract. And so cataracts, again, are a change to the natural crystalline lens getting kind of cloudy, and it definitely is not any film that's developing over the surface. So if you're seeing a growth or tissue that's on the surface of your eye, that is something else, definitely not a cataract. All right, and so lastly, the symptom that often gets related to cataracts is fluctuating vision. So sometimes people say, hey, my vision is fluctuating, it's getting better or worse, and they'll say, hey, is that due to my cataract? and most of the time not. So cataracts are going to typically cause a more consistent reduction in your vision and not this fluctuating vision. Fluctuating vision can often be more associated with things like dry eye disease. Now the only exception to this might be under different lighting conditions. So in bright light versus dim light, you might find, hey, my symptoms are worse in one of these lighting conditions than, than another. But generally speaking, cataracts don't cause fluctuating vision. All right, so if you think you have some of these symptoms and are wondering, hey, do I have cataracts or not? Probably the best thing to do, call up your local optometrist and book an appointment. And with that, have a great optometry day.